Hello, Illuminated Souls. I'm Bri Andrioni. And I'm Tina Damore. Welcome to Shamans After Dark. If you've been joining us for the previous episodes of our podcast on Connecting with Nature series, we've talked about a whole bunch of good juicy things. We've been discussing how all beings are sentient and are, have a spirit, how everything has a consciousness and speaks to each other, and how we are interconnected and a part of that consciousness and the benefits that can come when we tap into it and when we make the time in our lives to slow down and connect. We've also touched on the ancient wisdom and rhythm of nature and how that supports our health. And we've also had a fun time talking about the little people and mythology and how that kind of shapes and informs our world. Today, Tina is going to be leading us on a guided meditation to meet a being in nature that resides right around you. It could be a house plant, tree outside, a park. So it'll be exciting to see what comes from that. So Tina, I'm turning it over to you. All right. Thanks, Bree. So just as a reminder, don't drive or operate heavy machinery while doing this guided meditation. We don't want any accidents and we want you to be fully able to be in this experience. Take a nice, slow, deep breath, everyone, and fill up your lungs. And then exhale slowly. Take another deep breath and exhale. Now take a third slow deep breath and slowly let that breath out. Allow your eyelids to get heavy and let them gently close. As each muscle begins to relax and let go, allow all of their, your cares and tensions to slowly fade away. As each of your muscles relax more and more with the sound of my voice, your entire body is going deeper and deeper into relaxation. Continue to breathe normally and naturally and allow yourself to go deeper and deeper as you let each and every breath relax you more and more. In your next breath, imagine there's a flower in your heart that is breathing with your breath. It can be any flower you want it to be, with colors and fragrances that don't exist in this world. Allow this flower to blossom in your heart. Breathing with this flower, with every cleansing out breath, you notice the fragrance of this flower moves through you. And with each breath, a wonderfully peaceful feeling comes over you. Breathe in and feel the warmth that peace envelops your entire body in as you keep breathing. Now I'd like you to use your imagination. Although you're very relaxed, you're going to imagine walking to a place outside where you reside. This could be your yard or patio or the woods if you live in a rural area. And if you live in a city, you can imagine yourself at a park if there is one close by. Or if you can imagine yourself walking to a plant in your own home. Wherever you've decided to go, your intention is to talk with a tree, a plant, bird, an animal, a stone, the wind, or any other being you might experience in ordinary life that you've always wished you could converse with. In some shamanic cultures, it's taught that the people have eyes throughout their whole body and they can take in nature in every cell as they're walking. So with this in mind, absorb this power. Feel the energy of nature around you. You're not absorbing just the beauty of it, but you're going deeper into the energy so that you can start to better understand. Just like us, plants have an energy system. Trees have an energy system. So do birds and animals too. Be aware of your surroundings as you walk. Feel your feet. Feel the connection to the earth on the bottom of your feet. Feel the communication going back and forth, back and forth. Nature 
and all its beings is reciprocal. And you are part of that reciprocity. Notice any communication going back and forth through the trees or other beings of nature. Let your feet talk to the earth. Pick up a message through your feet as you walk. Everything is breathing and alive. And now as you approach the tree, the rock, a plant, a bird or an animal, you may notice that this being of nature may have been waiting to talk with you for a while. In fact, this might even have been the reason you felt called to listen to this guided meditation. So now, breathe in and trust this experience. Observe a being of nature as if you've not really experienced it before. Use curious eyes, ears, and touch. Notice any colors. Notice if there is a sound it makes. Begin a conversation and say, hello. You might even ask what this being has to share with you at this time. This nature being holds an ability to communicate with you and you, it. This is a magical opportunity for you both to get to know each other. I'd like you to also open up to the notion that in communicating with a being of nature, he may also encounter a nature spirit, in other words, a little person or one of the wee folk, however it may show itself up to you. These spirits are stewards of the earth and they have so much wisdom to share with us. So if you encounter a nature spirit, say hello and welcome dialogue with them. In the next five minutes, open yourself up to any communication being directed to you or around you by nature beings or nature spirits. Acknowledge each moment of communication, open your heart and breathe.
If you haven't already, take this time to ask this nature being or nature spirit if there's something that it needs or how it would like to be honored. If you can fulfill that need or desire, tell this nature being or nature spirit that you will help. If there is an offering it wishes for, ask what specific offerings it would like. Now it is time to return. Please thank the nature being or nature spirit for being open and willing to communicate with you. Tell this being or spirit that you will be back if you indeed plan on being. Now imagine yourself walking back to the space where your body is resting. Slowly come back to your body and become more aware of the surface beneath you, as well as the sounds of your surroundings in this ordinary world. Take a nice breath in and wiggle your fingers and toes. On the count of five, slowly open your eyes and come back to the room feeling awake, alert, and refreshed. One, two, three, four, five. Now you are completely relaxed, rested, and comfortable, as well as energized with such a powerful sense of building a relationship with nature. Remember what this nature being or nature spirit may have told you about what it wishes, so reflect on how you might fulfill its wish or if there are any offerings it mentioned that it would like. Reciprocity with nature is a time-tested way of building relationship with nature, so don't forget about that agreement. And if you wish, you can listen to this again and again to form a better relationship with the nature beings that reside around you. Be sure to write down some notes after your experience so you remember them. Thank you, Tina, for taking us on that wonderful guided meditation to meet a nature of being. We thank you all for showing up and being on this journey with us. And we have a journey prompt on our website on shamansafterdark.com. If you know how to perform a shamanic journey, this journey prompt is to ask your helping spirits, please take me to a nature being or spirit that resides near me that is open and willing to communicate with me and to ask if there is anything it needs or if it wishes for any offerings from you. Until next time, everyone, keep on shining your light.